Take a jar half filled with water and heat it to 60 degrees Celsius. Take a cylindrical glass jar which is transparent and fill half of it with hot water. Now pour some coconut oil over the surface of the water very gently such that the water and oil do not mix. Close the jar with a lid containing two holes. Take two thermometers and insert them into the jar through the holes in the lid. Put the thermometers in such a way that bulb of one of the thermometer is inside the water and the other touches only the coconut oil. Now note the readings of both the thermometers. The mercury level in the thermometer kept in water falls while the reading of the thermometer kept in oil increases. It is because the average kinetic energy of the molecules of oil increases while the average kinetic energy of the molecules of water decreases. In other words, the temperature of oil increases while the temperature of water decreases. Some heat energy flows from water to oil. As a result, the kinetic energy of the water molecules drops and the kinetic energy of the oil molecules increases. In this way, water loses energy while oil gains energy due to the temperature difference between them. From the activities 2, 3 and 4, we learn the following differences about heat and temperature. Heat is the energy that flows and temperature is the quantity which decides the direction in which heat energy flows. After learning this, let us now learn how these quantities are associated with a system through the concept of specific heat.